taarifa kamili mtazamaji lakini kabla ya kuendelea na kile ambacho tumekuwa andalia wacha nikupeleke moja kwa moja katika makao makuu ya IEBC sehemu ambayo watakuwa wakipokea matokeo ya nafasi ama uchaguzi mkuu ambao utakaoanza siku ya Jumanne na hivi sasa nakupeleka katika ukumbi wa boma ambapo kutakuwa na majaribio ya mitambo ya kupokea matokeo hayo moja kwa moja hivi sasa mkutano huo umeanza na wanahabari kwa hiyo wacha twende tuangazie kinachoendelea katika sehemu ya bomas His remarks before we get into the details of this program what we also expect in this session, lastly, is a joint communique of the mobile network operators who are supporting this process. The three main network, mobile network operators. So together the Commission and the Communication Authority of Kenya are going to issue a joint communique in terms of what is it that they are doing for this election. So with those introductory remarks, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to invite also Professor Goulier, who is the chairman or the, the chairperson of the ICT committee at the commission level, is going to invite uh, Mr. Wangusi to give his remarks, then thereafter invite the chairperson to give his remarks. Karibu sana, Professor. Thank you. Chairman IBC, Communications Authority, MD, fellow commissioners, the CEO, mradhi mtazamaji picha kidogo hapo zinaganda kutokana na, na hali ya mawasiliano lakini ni taarifa ambayo tunaendelea kuifuatilia kwa ukaribu na pindi tutakapopata mtiririko mzuri wa picha basi itakuwa ni wenye kukuletea pia kinachoendelea katika sehemu hiyo ya bomas kumbuka hiki ni kituo kikuu ambacho kitakuwa kikipokea matokeo yote ya uchaguzi wa urais na vile vile kuthibitisha taarifa hiyo ni kwamba matokeo hayo yatatangazwa katika kituo hicho moja kwa moja naarifiwa kwamba picha yetu imekuwa safi kabisa wacha nikurudishe tuendelee kuangazia kinachoendelea not disappoint Kenyans we are prepared and I'd like at this point to invite the chair of IEBC to make a remark before I chair the invite the chair I think it's the the CEO of communications authority to give us a few remarks of assurances the efforts that has gone into this transmission and then thereafter I'll invite the chair. <laughs> the IBC chair, commissioners, the CEO of IEBC, ambassadors present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, I have no much to say. Mine here is to come and endorse the joint statement that is going to be released between IEBC, the mobile network operators, and the Communications Authority of Kenya. I also want to assure Kenyans that as a partner in the transmission of the election, election results, we are, we are committed to provide um, good infrastructure that will ensure quality of data transmission as well as security in the course of the transmission of results. After having said that, I also want to assure you that the normal public communication is not going to be interrupted in the course of uh, the transmission of results as we have availed sufficient capacity to be able to deal with uh, both um, 
the uh, private communication that will be required by the IEBC, as well as the public communication that will enable Kenyans to be able to communicate. I don't have much to say, but uh, I would want to say thank you very much for giving us this honor to work with you and would assure you that at least the elections is going to be supported fully by the authority, the government, and the mobile network operators that we have in place. Thank you very much. It's now my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the chairman of IEBC to make a few regards, remarks with regards to the transmission of results and the preparations thereof. Thank you. Uh, Director General of Communications Authority, Commissioners of IBC, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I uh, want to welcome you to this occasion of launching our results transmission simulation exercise. Uh, before I make some remarks, I uh, want uh, once again request you to be upstanding for a minute silence for the departed uh, employee of IBC, Chris Musando. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please be seated. I'll make a few remarks uh, before I read the joint statement by the MNOs. I uh, want to start by saying that today, we all over the country are swearing in the presiding officers as well as the, the clerks will be assisting presiding officers. And this exercise of swearing them in is ongoing across the country. We have a total of 360,000 officers who will take part in manning the 40,883 polling stations. So the agents are being sworn in as well before advocates all over the country, that's agents of the candidates. Also want to state that campaigns will end on Saturday 5th August at 6 p.m. and all candidates are advised to comply with this directive. It's in our regulations and it's in the code of conduct. Results will be transmitted as per this exercise, which will be shown. But some of the results covering that three electoral areas will not be transmitted uh, by way of the RTS, I mean the results transmission system. The reason being that at the time we closed the CRMS system, we received court orders directing us to include some candidates who were not initially there in our system. Meaning that uh, we had to load the kits. The kits are loaded with the, the register of voters as well as the names of the candidates. So we could not accommodate some of the candidates. But this does not affect presidential candidates. It affects the other five elective positions in 33 electoral areas. As up to Yesterday, we still had court interventions, and this has forced us to print some of the ballot papers for the following areas. For Kirinyaka Senate, Embu Governorship, and East Assembly Ward in Rarieta constituents of Shire County. 
So this reprinting will be done in the next couple of days so that we have these ballot papers with us in, in time for the general election. So the commission will not be able to transmit those results, but those results will be available by way of the manual way of uh, filling the relevant forms which are applicable. The commission also wishes to inform the country that all candidates, agents, and voters in areas and in cases where communication network may not be available will be advised to move to areas where network is assured. In some areas, they may cover a few, a few, uh, uh, I mean, people know where the network is, so they'll be advised to move those areas in case the network is not available. And lastly, I want to say that uh, as a commission, we are committed to ensuring that the election on 8th of August goes on seamlessly. We have been in, in discussions with the Inspector General of Police, and the security of our staff has been guaranteed. The government, through IG, has provided, or is, they are making arrangements to provide security for our staff, senior staff, and returning officers all over the country. And this will go a long way to ensure that uh, the election goes on without any hitch. I now want to proceed to read the joint statement of the mobile network operators. And this is a joint statement of the IBC and the mobile network operators. That is Safaricom, Airtel, and Telecom. This is a statement signed by IBC and the three mobile network operators, as well as the Communication Authority of Kenya. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has contracted the country's three mobile network operators, that is Safaricom, Airtel, and Telecom, to transmit the results of the general election through their networks where they have coverage. The responsibility of the MNOs and the Communication Authority of Kenya will be to provide a secure conduit to transmit the encrypted results between the polling stations and the IBC's data center. The IBC has entered into standard level agreements with the MNOs to support IBC to deliver on its constitutional duty to the nation. In achieving this, the IBC has divided the country into zones with the respective MNOs tasked to provide connectivity between the KIMS devices at the polling stations and the IBC data center. The IEBC has provided its own independent equipment and servers on both ends of the transmission chain. That's to say the sending and receiving ends of the transmission process. The IBC remains wholly responsible and in charge of the operation, operationalization and security of its equipment and servers during this time. This statement is signed by myself as chairman of IBC, Mr. Francis Wangusi, Director General, Communication Authority of Kenya, Bob Collimore, Chief Executive Officer, Safaricom Kenya, Mr. Aido Marus, Chief Executive Officer, Telecom Kenya, and Mr. Abdi Yousefi, Chief Executive Officer, Airtel Kenya. So those are the persons and companies responsible for results transmission. Thank you very much. As we sit and wait for the simulation exercise, let's, we as IBC pledge that we are ready to give the country a free, fair, and credible election come the 8th of August this year. Thank you very much. God bless all of you. God bless Kenya. Now, I'm
huo ni mkutano unaoendelea hivi sasa kati ya kamati kuu ambayo ndio kamati ambayo inaangazia masuala ya upokezi wa matokeo ya uchaguzi na vile vile kuyapeperusha katika sehemu ambayo inastahili kulingana na IEBC ili kuweza kupokewa vema kabisa matokeo ya uchaguzi kutoka sehemu za nyanjani namna ambavyo shughuli hiyo itakavyokuwa kuanzia siku ya Jumanne kuanzia saa 12 wakati ambapo vituo vitakuwa vime, vimefungwa na kura tayari kwanza kuhesabiwa na matokeo yake kuweza kujulikana ni labda tukuelezea tu kwa ufupi mtazamaji mkutano huo ni kati ya watu kadha wa kadha ambao ndio wasimamizi wakuu katika sekta ya mawasiliano hapo wametajwa Safaricom wametajwa Airtel na hata vile vile Telkom na vile vile wametajwa ile tume ama sio tume bali ni CAK Communication Authority of Kenya mamlaka makuu haya ya mawasiliano hapa nchini Kenya wakiongozwa na wangusi ambao wamekuwa hapo wakitoa hakikisho kwamba mawasiliano yatakuwepo siku ya uchaguzi anikiwa ni tarehe nane mwezi wa Agosti mwaka huu 2017 siku ikiwa ni ya Jumanne na tayari IEBC kulingana na wafula Chebukati wanatumia Safaricom, Airtel na hata Telkom kusaidia katika shughuli hiyo muhimu sana ya kupeana matokeo kwa njia ambayo inayostahili hadi katika hifadhi kuu ambao ni zile servers tutasema za tume ya IEBC. IEBC pia imesema kwamba tayari imepeana vifaa vyake ili kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli hiyo inakwenda vyema kabisa. Na kurudisha tena katika ukumbi wa Bomas ili tuweze kupata taarifa zaidi kwa manufaa yako mtazamaji. Now the summary of our dry run is the technical uh, the technical description of the Kenya integrated management system and which is the dry run for the general election that I've just mentioned to you. Now in this particular dry run we are going to demonstrate to you we have more than 40 polling station where we have uh, people distributed all over the country and we shall be demonstrating to you what will be expected to you uh, for you to view on the election day in terms of uh, results transmission now the objective of our dry run today is to transmit election results from several locations we have about more than 70 that we'll be seeing this very day. The other thing that we'll be displaying to you is the results on the back end. The dry run, uh, the dry run basically is um, the result transmission system where we will have the people distributed all over the country who's going to, uh, to basically show you the whole process from the entry of the total number of valid votes, which is going to be done by our POs at the polling station level. We have people on standby at the moment, and uh, we have uh, key counties, we call them key counties, which is uh, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Nakuru, which are uh, currently live, that we'll just see in a short while. Uh, my colleague, Seda, is here, is going to take you through the whole process of RTS, and uh, I think after you are done, maybe we can be able to take up your questions from, in, from that point. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just take you through the uh, overview of what we are going to do today. And as you can see on the slides, uh, we'll uh, start by uh, running the NCT to connect to the strongest network, depending on what has been set on the tablet. Uh, then uh, on the election day, we, after the NCT has been launched, uh, the voting process will be open. And uh, up to around 5 p.m., we expect that uh, most voters will have uh, turned out. Then from there uh, is when we will now, uh, uh, the presiding officers will tally the uh, results and fill the declarations form then uh, fill them again on RTS and transmit them to the back end. So for today's process, we will focus on uh, the RTS part of it. So I'll take you through the process and also be running it on the tablet so that we have the visual uh, of it.
na mtazamaji basi ni taarifa hizo okay. tunazozipokea kwa njia moja kwa moja kutoka katika ukumbi wa boma za hapa jijini Nairobi kama nilivyokuelezea tulivyoanza taarifa zetu ni kwamba hiki ndicho kituo maalum ambacho kitakuwa ndio safari ya mwisho ya matokeo ya mbali mbali ya nafasi zote zile za ambazo zinanganganiwa katika uchaguzi mkuu na ndio sehemu ambayo pia tutakuwa tunapokea matokeo ya mwisho ya nafasi ya urais na ni sehemu pia vile nitasema labda ndio ambayo ilitumiwa kama vile ilitumiwa hapo awali kumtawaza ama kumtangaza mshindi wa uchaguzi huu wa mwaka na saba. Hivyo basi matokeo yote yatakuwa yanatiririka kinachoendelea hivi sasa ni hali ile ya majaribio kama walivyosema majaribio kutoka kwa tume ya IEBC wacha ni kurejeshe tu tupate kusikia sauti namna ambavyo shughuli yenyewe inavyokwenda and confirm that there is no dispute then i proceed so from here uh, what you can see is the presidential election so i'll just click on it So once I click on it, uh, it brings the ballot. Uh, so at this point, the POs will have filled the declaration form. So this is what they'll use to fill uh, this part on the tablet. So what they'll just fill is uh, the total number of voters per polling station is uh, automatically uh, set in the system, so they'll not be able to edit that. So here they can fill the total number of rejected ballot papers, total number of rejection objected to ballot papers, total number of disputed votes, and the total valid, uh, total valid votes cast. So in my case, I'll just uh, put zeros in each and move to the next one. Total rejected objected also zero. No disputes. Total valid uh, votes. In my case here, I, according to the former field, total valid votes is 400. So once you've filled all this information, I'll just validate it and move to the next screen. So uh, on the next screen, it will actually display the uh, names of the candidate and uh, we'll also uh, distribute the total vo uh, valid votes according to them. So in my form here, I've uh, actually filled the same for all candidates, which is 50. So once I get to the last one, I'll just validate it and move to the next screen. So in the next screen is where uh, I'll be prompted to scan the declaration form. So I'll just launch the scanner to scan the form. Na mtazamaji wacha tukutafutie picha vizuri zaidi kusiana na shughuli hiyo inayoendelea kumbuka tunaendelea na taarifa ambapo tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC inaendelea na mazoezi yake ya mwisho kabla ya shughuli ya kura kuanza siku ya Jumanne kinachoendelea hivi sasa katika ukumbi wa boma kumbuka hii ndio sehemu ambayo itakuwa inapokea matokeo yote ya uchaguzi na pia vile vile ni sehemu ambayo itakuwa ni yenye kutangaza nafasi ama 
kutangaza matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais na mwisho kabisa itakuwa ni sehemu ambayo itamtangaza mshindi wa kura ya uchaguzi mkuu mwaka huu 2017 shughuli hiyo inayoendelea hapo ni